Well, the gun safety bill apparently is dead in the Minnesota legislature where Democratic leaders have reneged on some promises to proponents and decided not to bring it to a vote. So the gun safety law may be dead, but the gun shows are alive and well. You can get everything here from anti-Bill Clinton uh, stickers to semi-automatic uh, military assault style weapons. Unfortunately, uh, they won't allow us inside with our camera. We have been able to interview a few people. We also so uh, you just came out of the gun show. A friend of yours has a table in there. We're not allowed in, so we're talking to people as they come out. Um, you know, what's the mood in the gun owners community as these bills in Washington and St. Paul have kind of fallen off the table? Well, most gun owners were scared in December and January and February. I was not, because I comprehend the Constitution, what it says. I know what's basically lawful and what's not lawful. I've been carrying a gun. I have one on me right now. I carry everywhere I go. Uh, I'm not a threat to anybody. I've been carrying a gun most of my life. Uh, as far as firearms go and everything, I believe in background checks, but the background checks have to be reasonable and then no record kept of them. If I go and buy a gun, fine. Uh, they should check, make sure that you know I, I'm responsible enough to carry a firearm. But then again, too, they don't register the firearm as belonging to me or keep a record of it. That's the right thing to do. In this gun show and other gun shows in and around the Twin Cities, the vast majority of people who sell guns as private individuals, uh, not as dealers. Let's say a person gets to be 65 years old, can't shoot anymore. First thing they want to do is they want to sell their property, convert it into money that they can live on. They don't sell it to 18-year-olds who look like they came from the wrong side of the tracks or stuff like that. The reality is the people who goes in there and buy them, they look at you and they say, is this an individual that's going to take this gun and do ill with it? You're carrying today, are you carrying a loaded weapon? Absolutely. But the sign on the door says no loaded weapons allowed. There are a few exceptions to that, you realize. Can I give you one? How about law enforcement? Sure. Are you in law enforcement? I was for many years. I'm retired. I know the owner of the, that runs this gun show, and he doesn't care. I've never, I've never exposed my firearm when I was in there and everything. You think Obama really is going to take the guns away? Tell me why. I believe he's going to try. Number one, who's backed Obama? George Soros. Uh, George Soros is also anti-gun. So, or firearm. And you listen to the media, everything is against the firearms. Uh, what was it, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? We're going to ban all automatic weapons, that shotguns, rifles, no matter what. I've got a rifle, I've got a shotgun, I've got a pistol. And do you have a permit to carry? No. Where do you stand on the proposals in Washington and St. Paul to uh, require background checks at shows like this on every purchase? I believe that there should be no background check on any gun. I think if you're a free American citizen, if you're not in prison, you should be able to walk up to any place, buy any gun. If you're not in prison, if you shouldn't be able to buy a gun, you should not be free walking around the streets. Do you feel that that's a kind of an extreme point of view, or is that your basic interpretation of the, your law, of the laws in this country? We should have full auto. We should have everything. Does the government have any right at all to restrict those kind of military-grade weapons to the official armed forces? They have no right. If anything, the American citizens have a, a right to restrain them. The government has no right to take any right from us. Their right is to protect our right. Their duty is to protect our rights and our freedoms. Right now, there are laws that are against our Constitution. The fact that you can't buy filato as a citizen without getting a permit. The fact that you can't carry without a permit to carry. All of those are void or they're against the Constitution. And, and the Constitution is 100% um, it, it, the reason that was put in place is to protect us from the government, from getting too powerful. Look at Hitler. But you have tables of licensed dealers, 
And you have tables also of private gun dealers selling guns and transactions to private parties without a background check. That's the so-called gun show loophole that the legislation both in Washington and in St. Paul intended to close. It would have required all of these kind of gun transactions to also be subjected to a background check on the buyer. That is not going to happen. We even saw one guy in there with a semi-automatic rifle with a for sale sign on it walking around like he was a sentry on duty hoping someone would give him a bid $2,500 by the way on his uh, rifle. No dice for him today. So the issue may be dead for this session in St. Paul but the gun owners say it's going to be a continuing fight. They're not going to let their guard down, and they're going to remain opposed to any legislation. So they may have won in 2013, at least the first round. For the uptake, Nick Coleman and Halee Lee behind the camera in Anoka, Minnesota.